Okay, the second use of Demar's theorem um, with trig identities is when we're going to rewrite powers of sine and cos as multiples. And this is particularly useful because we can't integrate sine cubed cos of the 5 on its own, but we can integrate cos 3 theta, sine 5 theta, and things like that. So it starts off with things that you need to be aware of and actually need to show for sometimes for part A of a question is just show these expressions at the bottom here. So uh, if we have our complex number z equals cos plus i sine, we're treating initially as z is a complex number with argument equal to 1. Uh, 1 over z, by DeMar's theorem, we've seen in the past is written as cos theta minus i sine theta. And we've got simultaneous equations. When we add the two equations, we eliminate the two uh, sine theta terms and we just end up on the other side with 2 cos theta. So what do we get? z plus 1 over z equals 2 cos theta. Similarly, if we subtract the two equations, z minus 1 over z equals 2i sine theta. And the same thing applies with our DeMars expression as well. z to the power n, we've seen, is cos of n theta plus i sine n theta. And similarly, 1 over z to the n, or z to the minus n, is cos n theta minus i sine n theta. And exactly the same process, add the two equations, we get z to the n plus 1 over z to the n, which is 2 cos n theta. And we subtract the two equations, we get z to the n minus 1 over z to the n equals 2i sine n theta. And those are what we're going to be referring to when we look at rewriting expressions like cos to the power phi theta as multiples of cos phi theta, cos 3 theta, and cos theta. <coughs> so how I go about it then? Since I want this idea here, cos to the power phi theta, I'm going to take this expression, z plus 1 over z equals 2 cos theta, and raise it to the power of 5. So I've got 2 cos theta to the power of 5 equals z plus 1 over z to the power of 5. Expand it all out, 2 to the power of 5, 32, cos to the 5 theta, that's how I'm going to get my cos to the 5 theta expression. And in this case here, do a binomial on it, z to the 5, 5z to the 4 times 1 over z plus 10z cubed times 1 over z squared plus 10z squared times 1 over z cubed plus 5z times 1 over z to the 4 and then plus 1 over z to the power of 5. And by the symmetry of everything, what you're going to get you're going to get z to the 5 plus 1 over z to the 5, and then plus 5. z to the 4 times 1 over z is z cubed. And similarly, the term with the 5 coefficient, z over z to the 4, is 1 over z cubed. And then plus 10, squeeze it here, 10. z cubed over z squared is z. 1 over z. And what have we got here then? z to the 5 plus 1 over z to the 5 using this side of DeMar's theorem is simply 2 cos 5 theta. And then 5 lots of z cubed plus 1 over z cubed using this one is 5 lots of 2 cos 3 theta. And then lastly 10 lots of z plus 1 over z here is 20 cos theta. And we're nearly there because that's 32 cos to the power of 5. So cos to the power of 5 then is all that lot over 32. So 2 over 32, 1 over 16 cos 5 theta. 10 over 32, 5 over 16 cos 3 theta. And 20 over 32 is 5 over 8 cos theta. And in that case there, we can now, well, later on in the course anyway, integrate cos to the power of 5 theta. We can rewrite it as these things and integrate those term by term. So that's the first example there. I'll put that to one side. And look at the second one, one involving sine. Exactly the same process. This is a prove, a show that, that sine cubed is this 
minus a quarter sine 3 theta plus 3 quarters sine theta. So because you've got sine cubed in, I'm going to take this term here and do 2i sine theta all cubed, which is z minus 1 over z cubed. When you cube this one, I get 8. In fact, I get minus 8i sine cubed theta. And z minus 1 over z, when I expand it, gives me z cubed, and then minus 3z squared times 1 over z, and plus 3z times 1 over z squared. There's less to write in this one, and then minus 1 over z cubed. And I've got exactly the same process now. I've got z cubed minus 1 over z cubed, and then let's minus 3 z minus 1 over z. Thinking what to do with the coefficients there. So z cubed minus 1 over z cubed, go back to this one now, is going to be 2i sine 3 theta. And then minus 3 lots of z minus 1 over z is simply 2i sine theta, so minus 6i sine theta. And that's minus 8i sine cubed. So all we need to do now, I can cancel the i's out and divide it by minus 8. So because it's a show that, I'd write 2 over minus 8 sine 3 theta minus 6 over minus 8 sine theta to show that 2 over minus 8 is minus a quarter sine 3 theta and then that's plus 3 quarters sine theta. And to show without, I've shown it exactly, I've done that extra little step there, so I've just shown where the coefficients have come from. Now, if we look on the sheet that I'm going to send out, there is a third example, but it does involve this idea of integrating that we haven't looked at in detail yet, and it says there it will follow later on in year 13. But that should be enough to keep you busy for now.